here's the lowdown. You're likely deficient in one or all three of these health supplements. Let's fix that. We develop physiques, we train, we educate, and we empower. Hey guys, Coach Sue here, co-owner of Physique Development. And over the years, we have helped thousands of men and women see insane physical transformations. But with those physical transformations come some pretty crazy internal transformations. So we've looked at a lot of lab work over the years. We've worked in tandem with clients, doctors and our own doctors, as well as working with a few companies that are going to be very much so science and evidence based when it comes to supplements. So you can say we've been around the block. I understand that supplements might have a bad rap of not only wasting your money, but not giving you the desired effect. And so that's why I wanted to be able to talk about these three health supplements that you're likely deficient in and being able to explain why we want to input them and what benefit they're going to give you. Supplements are just that. They're supplemental. They're not going to be substitutes, but in certain ways we need to make sure that we are supplementing with supplements if we can't get everything from food or from other sources. The first supplement that you're likely deficient in is magnesium. This is going to be an essential mineral and electrolyte, aka your body needs it. Magnesium is essential because it is absolutely required for energy production, for carb metabolism, and protein synthesis. Now, magnesium you can find in foods and you can get outside of a supplement. So things like dark leafy greens, nuts, legumes are all gonna be great sources of getting in some magnesium but that makes it pretty difficult for us because the Western diet is filled with a lot of processed foods which aren't going to include those aforementioned things that do include magnesium. So that's where magnesium supplementation comes into play. I normally like to start clients out at around 200 milligrams per day and then being able to increase as needed from there. Now, when you're wondering, what am I gonna feel differently outside of the fact that our body needs it, is it's also going to help with anxiety, it's gonna help with sleep, it's going to help with digestion, some PMS symptoms, and a multitude of other factors. Now, when we do take this into consideration, we wanna look at what type of magnesium. So we see that we have magnesium glycinate here, and these are the two brands we regularly recommend, Pure Encapsulations, and then Revive MD also has a magnesium glycinate. When we look at some of the other forms of magnesium like oxide or citrate, those can come in really handy if you do struggle with constipation and having those in play. So going towards a citrate or oxide isn't bad, but going with a glycinate is gonna be really safe if you're not dealing with constipation of any kind. So now that leads me to a supplement I mentioned talking about this one, which is vitamin D. So this is needed for vitamin D synthesis, but let's go ahead and talk about why vitamin D is so important. Vitamin D is going to be so extremely beneficial, especially if you live in a Midwestern state. Yes, I'm talking to all of you Midwesterners who don't get the pleasure of having the sun around all of the time. And so our skin synthesizes it from the sun, but if you are inside all day or in a place that doesn't get a ton of sun, being able to have vitamin D in place is going to be extremely important and beneficial. When we look at vitamin D, it also helps retain calcium and phosphorus, which are going to be absolutely crucial for your bone health and building bone. So vitamin D is not only going to be helpful when it comes to sunshine, which we love, but having vitamin D in place can help within preventing having osteoporosis. Vitamin D can also help with being able to lower cancer mortality and fend off cancer cells of having this in place. Now I mentioned with magnesium that you can get it through food sources, but there are very, very few food sources that are gonna contain vitamin D, so it is going to be best to supplement with it. And I'll get around to the dosage here in a minute, but I wanted to talk about the other things that can improve by having this in place. So it can improve your mood, your bone density and bone health, like we've already mentioned. It's also going to be very helpful when it comes to thyroid function and your testosterone levels can be affected when it comes to vitamin D. It can help your immune system and in turn help your respiratory system and help fighting off cold and flu, which we all need during this season. 
It's also going to be helpful for inflammation and if you're struggling with SAD during this time of year as well, being able to have some vitamin D in place is going to be extremely helpful. So when we talk about dosage, it's going to be the recommended daily amount is going to be 400 to 800 IUs per day. But when we talk about what the recommended daily amount is, there's also going to be an upper level and then there's going to be where toxicity comes into play. So toxicity is going to come into play that eight to 10,000, but we can supplement temporarily for a higher amount if you are very deficient when it comes to having vitamin D in place. We want to see this around 1 to 2K. Now this is going to be a 5,000 IU with vitamin K because also vitamin D is fat soluble. So you want to ensure that you're taking this with food that has fat in it and the vitamin K is going to help with absorption as well. All right, hopefully I've convinced you on vitamin D and magnesium, and now time for the final supplement, which is fish oil. I absolutely love fish oil. I absolutely love magnesium and vitamin D for sure, but fish oil has always been a little bit of a ride or die for me. Fish oil is going to help with heart health. It's also going to help when it comes to inflammation and your joints and just being able to overall function better, which again, at the root of this, we're talking about essential nutrients for your body to optimally perform. Fish oil is also going to help reduce triglycerides. So let's say you got your labs pulled recently and your cholesterol levels are all over the place and you have very high triglycerides, having this in place is going to help out. This is also going to help within lowering blood pressure. It's gonna improve your mood, your memory. It's gonna help when it comes to inflammation and helping with certain forms of arthritis. And a little extra added bonus, it's gonna help with fat burning and muscle building. Who doesn't want that? But we do wanna take a look at, again, the dosage and being able to make sure that we have an ingredient that's really gonna help us so we're not just throwing money down the drain. So when we take a look at the back label, we're not only looking at what the amount of fish oil is, but we're looking at the amount of EPA and DHA. And we want those at a minimum of 500 milligrams each to see the benefit that we need to from that EPA and DHA. Now, not only are we looking for the amount of EPA and DHA to hit that minimum of 500 milligrams, but we can actually see benefits taking fish oil up to nine grams per day. Now, I know that's a lot, but especially if you're an athlete, being able to increase your fish oil is only going to benefit you. Now, another huge benefit when it comes to fish oil is having those omega-3 fatty acids in place. When we look at the Western diet, it is going to be extremely high in omega-6 fatty acids. And not that omega-6 fatty acids are inherently bad, but we always wanna look at the ratio to omega-3, and again, just how much omega-6 fatty acids we're having in place. So being able to have a Triton or some fish oil in place is going to help balance out that ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acids. And while we're talking about brands, Legion is going to be a great brand for fish oil, as well as another brand that I've already mentioned, which is going to be Revive MD, as they have a fish oil. And then when we're looking at this vitamin D, we see here um, that is from Metagenics and this is a great one that we recommend as well as Revive has another vitamin D. So you can see that we have a few supplement companies that we lend towards and that's because they are going to be evidence-based. They are going to be based on the science of the dosage and what is going to be the most beneficial. These aren't going to be proprietary blends. These are going to be studied and proven to be the dosage that you need to be able to see the benefit. I know supplements can be stressful and it's very confusing to figure out what you should spend your money on, when you should take it, or if it's even gonna be a benefit. But hopefully this video helped clear some things up for you so you can feel confident and comfortable purchasing these three supplements and making sure that you're able to benefit your health and your physique.